All right, I have an already built up nail and I am painting the thumb and ring finger this real red buttercream. And what I like about buttercreams is they go on top. So again, I've already built this out so I can just come straight in with this and I filed down my pointer finger and my pinky because I'm going to do a little bit of embedding in that guy. Taking Russian Navy from OPI, and this is my favorite navy because it's such a buildable, pretty deep navy, so I'm going to do this on the middle finger. Coming in with Madame Glam's Perfect Black and I am just grabbing a top coat to create a glass black or a see-through black. And what I'm gonna do for the plaid is do one direction with that kind of glass black and then come back over that in the other direction. So where you have the overlapping black, it will be darker. And I do think I touch it up just a little bit more to create that dimension. Coming in with this glitter, and again, I said I took down that pointer finger, and I think I said the pinky as well, and we are going to place some of that glitter on the nail. Once I have it arranged how I want, I am going to encapsulate. If you do not have this stuck down very well, you will get loose glitters in your Jimmy Gel or whatever you use to encapsulate. So make sure A, it's stuck down really well, or B, you don't care that glitter could potentially get in it. So again, just encapsulating it just a little bit because I had these nails built out, I just took it down just slightly. So I'm going to repeat the process on the pinky. Taking this gold from Bellavina, I get mine from Double Dip, and I do have a discount code with them and Madame Glam, so I will link that all below. And this just makes it so easy to finish off my plaid nails by just swooping it across. Taking the white gel polish from Bellavina, I am going to, I guess it's a pointer white polish brush. I'm gonna do the outline of the nail and then I'm going to give that a full cure. Taking clear jelly stamping plate in C24 and I'm going for the snowflakes and I'm individually placing them, meaning I am essentially grabbing the ones that I want. I'm not just randomly stamping the entire image on. And then I think I do have a little bit of a cleanup to do. We are done with the thumb, so I'm going to top coat this.
We are going to add some blings to a couple of the nails. So again, I went ahead and top coat that thumb and now I'm going in with the top coat on the pointer finger. Now I recommend if you want these to stick on really good and not for a tutorial, go ahead and use some sort of glue or a gel that this will actually stick into and not just a top coat and that goes for the rest of the nails as well. I'm going to take this gold chrome and I'm taking the sticky polish. No, I'm taking Moira's uh, gel polish or sticky polish, whatever you want to call it. And this one is my favorite by far. Give it a second to dry and it just, it just comes off so beautifully, nice and crisp. So doing that top coat and going to lay the rest of the little stones. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.